you. No, no. Thank you. Yegek bashteng zinka. Eroche anun nevor gpatsatsneng. Yev gergin ankam zanunti ashir chanin. He shank perchin zanunta. Yev inch for adiga perav markutian. For good tuna. Rahutinov, the Rochiduna Hosenk, I saw Patsuran Kasovo, Ir Zaran, the Rabat military workman Mezi Hede, Louisiana N, Ink Hovibe, Baton Rouge Mech Yegazima, Pites Adena Mega School Mera Gaitsele, Ir Digina in Quirisk, La Nangor Atpes, Arevan Sines Chemot, as I saw Saraha. We're happy that Pastor Terry is with us today. And uh, we expect to hear God's word from you at this time. God bless you, Brother Terry. Good morning. It's cold in, in California. California. We are enjoying it. It's 80 degrees in Baton Rouge. Utsun Astijana, Baton Rouge, Utsun Aisor. 95% humidity. In his suning are here on Srev Kalu mod, Honave. So it's very hot. Okay, everybody stand up. Vodki a link. Look at somebody. Chorskomat Nair Meguma. And say, You've lost weight. Say, it's Yeah, let's say, Remor, Gashir Korsen Sutsazes to say, Rem. Nihar Sazes to say, Rem. Kovinit Nair Mekad. Let's pray this morning. Father, we ask you by the power of the Holy Spirit, open our hearts and our minds to understand with our hearts and to be changed. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now stay standing a moment. I want to read, <laughs> if we could, we're going to read Luke chapter 2, verse 1 through 12. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead. You can read it in English. You're reading it. I'll let Paul read it in Armenian. That way, uh, it'll save a little time. <laughs> Այս առաջին աշխարակիրը եղավ Գյուրենոսի Սուրիայի վրագուսագալություն Ռած Ադենը։ Եվ ամենը գերթային աշխարակիրը մտնելու ամեն մեկի իր քաղաքին մեջ։ Հովսեփալ Գալիլեա Նազարեթ քաղաքեն ելավ Թեբի Հրիաստան, Թավիթի քաղաքը որ Փետլեհեմ գսվի։ Հոն Թավիթի դունեն ասկադոհմեն ըլալուն համար աշխարակիրը մտնելու Մարիամի հետ մեկտեղ որ իր նշանազն էր եւ հղի էր։ Ու եղավ, որ երբ անոնք հոն էին, անոր զնանելու օրերը լեցվեցան։ Եվ իր անդրանիկ որդին ձնավ ու խանցարորով պատտեց զանիգա եւ մսուրին մեջ բարգեցուց, Վասզի Իչևանին մեջ իրենց տեղ չկա։ Եվ այնտեղ հովիվներ գային թաշտի մեջ գեցած, որոնք իրենց հոդերուն քիշերվան բահվանությունը գնեի։ Եվ ահա դերոչը հրեշտակը անոնց վրա իջավ, դերոչը փարքը անոնց փոլորդիկը ծակեցավ ու խիստ շատ վախցան։ Եվ հրեշտակը ասավ անոնց Մի վախնակ, Վասիլի ահա ես ծեզի մեծ ուրախության ավետի սկուդամ, որ փոլոր ժողովուրդին պիտի Ալլահ։ Վասիլի ծեզի այսօր փրգիչ մծնավ Թավիթի քաղաքի մեջ, որ օձյալ դեր է։ Եվ այս ծեզի նշանը Ալլահ մանուկը պիտի գտնեք խանցարուրով պատված ու մսուրի մեջ բարգած։ You may be seated. Good night, Mr. The scripture I'd like to focus on is the word manger. Եվ այդ փարը խոսքը ասո խոսքեն ուրեմն որ գետրոնամ այսօր մսուրը The the word the angel said was that this would be a sign to you Հրեշտակը ասավ նշան մը պիտի Ալլահ Everybody say a sign Նշան ասեք We a Jazima we just bought us a king size bed Դիգինս եւ ես վերջերս We we've always had a queen but now when we moved recently we just got a king size bed Մինչև իմա այդ how many have a king size bed in here? Listen, how many have a king size bed? Sir, do a king size bed. Taka voragan at chap vorong ayan ay angogin. How many have a queen? Vorong queen size only. How many have a single? Single. How many don't have a bed? Vorong angogin chunin. Sir, good good night, sir. The name of the message today is this. But come, I survive. The very first king size bed. Arachin takavoragan chap. The very first 
king size bed. Arachin takavoragan chap. Let's pray one more time. Ao thank you gan. Thank you Lord for Christmas. There is us ais zenunti shurchani namar pat. Thank you for sending your son. Shunagalen kvor vorti dgergetsius. Jesus thank you for coming. Jesus thank you vor yegar ashka. Open our hearts. Merser dere pats to receive the truth or antunin jishmardutuna. A fresh and new today. Nor gerbo vaisor. In Jesus name. Jesus yano no. Amen. Amen. Okay, I want to talk to you today about all that God did to send His Son into the world. In the very beginning, when Adam and Eve had sinned, God had already prepared the coming of Jesus. Աստված բադրաստեց Հիսուսի քալը։ He gave a prophetic word in that day. Եվ մարկարեություն տվավ այդ օրվան համար։ Says you bruised you will bruise his heel but he will bruise your head. Եվ սա անիկա թուն քլուխը պիտի ճախճախես անիկա քու քարշաբարդ պիտի խայթե։ Thousands of years before Jesus came God already knew he was coming. Հազարավոր դարիներ Հիսուսի քալուստեն առաջին աստված քիթեր։ When we read Luke chapter 2, we read it differently than the way it was in that day. Because when we read it, we think of Christmas time. But Luke chapter 2 was not Christmas time in that day. Luke chapter 2 was like April the 15th. April the 15th. How many of you love April the 15th? Do you feel the same on April the 15th as you do on January the 6th or December the 27th? You feel different, right? Luke chapter 2 is April the 15th. Everybody was going to pay their taxes. That's what Luke chapter 2 is. They weren't singing Christmas carols. They were cursing the Roman government. They were having to journey long distance to go pay their taxes. Nobody was in a happy mood. <laughs> Nobody was smiling. And so they're all the whole world is on the move right now. Every 14 years. Rome would take a census of the world. And in the providence of God, it just so happened that the 14th year fell when Mary was eight and a half months pregnant. And think about this. God has had thousands of years to prepare for this. God is a planner. He plans things out thousands of years in advance. There's a supper God's already prepared. It's called the marriage supper of the Lamb. You read, a, you read about it in the book of Revelation. God's already got the menu planned out. Every, Every little detail is planned. And the greatest event of all time was the coming of His Son into the world. Prophets would prophesy of it in the Old Testament. Isaiah would speak of it in Isaiah 53. David would speak of it in the book of Psalms. God was preparing for the coming of the Son of Man. It would be the greatest event of all time. In fact, when you read about what happened with Mary and Joseph, 
եւ գարտան կադի ինչ որ մարիամի եւ հովսեպի պատահեցավ They lived in the city of Nazareth Nazareth Gabriel which was about 70 miles from Bethlehem Yotanasun Mogon Bethlehem Eheru And yet God had said in the book of Micah that that the savior would be born in Bethlehem Բայց Միքիա մարկարեության մեջ աստվազը սազեր որ որսին Bethlehem պիտի զնի 70 miles away Yotanasun Mogon Heru What's he going to do? Ինչ պիտնես That's what God did. Աստված ինչ հրավ He brought into Mary's life Մարիամի դյանքի մեջ հրավ A young man by the name of Joseph. Հովսեպ անունով երդասարտն է And guess where his hometown was. Եվ Հովսեպի քաղաքը ուրեր It just so happened Joseph was from Bethlehem. Հովսեպ իր փուն ասկադոհմը Պետլեհեմեն էր And God paired up Mary and Joseph. Եվ Աստված միասին փերավ Հովսեպ եւ Մարիամ So that when the census came out Որ երբ որ մարտը համարը ըլլա They would have to travel 70 miles Պիտի ջամ պորտեն 70 մղոն When Mary was 8 and a half months pregnant Ու դու գես ամսվա հղի Մարիամը One of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen An habadali pam vor deserem Are these Christmas cards այս քարտերը ձնընդյան With Mary sitting on a donkey Մարիամը նստած է իշխի մվրա So nice and smiling Ինչ քեղեցի գժպտի ուրախք Going 70 miles 70 մղոն 8 and a half months pregnant Ու դու գես ամսվա հղի She wasn't anything like that She was hurting She was sweating Հավական թժվար ջամփորտություն մներ քրդինկներով լեցուն And I thank God you had thousands of years to plan this Աստված իմներ հազարավոր դարի ծրակրելու In fact just a few months prior Mary had been there with her cousin Մի քանի ամիս ասկի առաջ Մարիամ իր քազնին հետ եղա ձեր հոն And I thank God why didn't you just let her stay there Ինչու այդպես չեղա որ հոն մնար քոնե And yet here she is going Բայց հոս գտեսնենք որ գջամփորտ And you know how 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 exact the providence of God is Astuzo Zrakir inch pese God knew just how fast that little donkey would walk Borchap arak nuinis ke kaler ait bzdik ishuga adi zrakrvat Because Jesus had to be born in Bethlehem Kan Jesus Bethlehem bet getsne God had prophesied it Markareutune gar And there's a whole reason for that I won't go into but he had to be born in Bethlehem Chat badjar ner gar inchu Bethlehem er vor bet getsner But here's the thing I want to ask you. Asi bi dharsnen tsezi. If God had so much time to plan it. Yev ascha zrakir yete astvat kamanak. Thousands of years. Hazaravor dariner. Why didn't he make reservations at Bethlehem Hilton? In chu astvat reservation at Chirav Bethlehem Hilton Bantogin mech. At the very least call Motel 6 they would have left the light on. Kone Motel 6 yete ener Tursi Luise varats gtsekein. Did some angel forget to make reservations? Hereshtakner em meg artyok mortsav seyak ma abahovelu. They get to Bethlehem? Gahasni Bethlehem? No room. Dek chigayre. Somebody forgot to make reservations. Meg mortsav abahovelu seyak ma. God had thousands of years to plan this. Astvaz uner hazaravor dari zrakrelu. God could have made a hospital. Gernar hivantanots mashine. He could have spoken into existence. Gernar khosil vor hivantanots ma bazastela. He had his son born there. Yev ir vortin hon zner. But he didn't. Shrav. Instead he had his son born in a manger. Pats ir vortin znav masurima mech. On purpose. Masnavor atpes. Was not an accident portsank adang harevantsi cher was not just a happenstance of of life ait pes gyanki badahar m cher nothing about jesus was by chance voyev e pan hisusi gyanki m cher ispakhti cher every little detail of his life amen mara masnutyun ir gyanki m cher was the hand of the invisible god astzo cerkga maneuvering Iren perelu doing for Kors. a reason but jarima amar korzelu and the bible says this will be a sign to you sirkir ke gese asi tsezi nishan ma allah what inchne you will find a babe bidi desnek manuk ma lying in a manger masurim mech barga wrapped in swaddling clothes adiga a sign what patvaz it's it's a sign nishan mane I don't want to talk to you just briefly this morning. Garch gervov zem khosi. The message of the manger. Masurin batkama. The reason God had his son born in a manger. Bat jarvor 
in trust was Masuri Mech Yvortin God purposed this. As to Zona Badaga. He wanted it. Was it ice microphone and uh, it's a Jonathan? To every one of us. Speaker of Pastor Terry, can I hear it? Oh, I'm sorry. In the, in the monitor? Oh, I'm out. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. Sorry. So it was a sign. It, it, was, it was the very purpose of God that God had for us. So let's begin to ask. Let me ask you a question. Why would God do that? Why would God have His Son born in a manger? The whole world is on the move, as I said, it's a tax time. And, uh, and the Bible says that literally the town was packed. Why would he have his son born in a manger? In true, Let me give you a couple things and we're going to pray. Number one, to show forth his humility. Can you imagine the heart of these shepherds? When God looked, I mean, when the angels looked at them and said this, this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe lying in a manger. And a manger was a feeding trough. Even, th even though we do this like this, that's, really, that's, not a, that's not what it was in that day. How, how, how many lived, have lived on a farm? How many have lived on a farm? Oh, a lot of city folk in here, right? A few of you farmers. You, you never make a feeding trough out of wood. The, cat, the cows will eat it. I mean, they literally will eat it. The feeding troughs in that day were made out of stone. And literally the place where Jesus would have been born would have been like a, a cave cut into the side of a mountain. And it would have been a stone feeding trough. What? What? Be because think this at the two extremes of his life he, he borrows a cave with a, with a stone feeding trough he's, he's, late, he's late in it at the other end of his life he borrows another cave. And, he, and he's laid on a stone slab. He was born in a manger. To show forth his humiliation. Listen, when the heart of the shepherds heard what the angel said. Can you imagine what happened in their hearts? Where is the Savior being born? In a stable? See, the, 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 the robes of, of, of the priests, the robes of Caesar, they didn't excite anything in the hearts of those shepherds. But when they heard that he was born in a manger, can you imagine, can you imagine what they felt like? What did the angel just say? He's not being born in, in, in Rome. Rome Jerusalem. He's, he's being born in Bethlehem, Bethlehem that little village that's little among the thousands of Judea. And beyond that, he's being born in a manger. Can, can you imagine what they felt? They, suddenly they, they felt like that, that he was part of them. He wasn't the high and mighty. He, he was born in a manger, in a feeding trough, 
Geragori banagi me mech gentani. In a stable where the animals were. Achori me mech ur gentani nergain. We're talking about the God of the universe. Astvads di ezerki masing khosi. Who had been planning for thousands of years. Hazarabor darin er zirak razer. Could have him born anywhere on the earth. Gernar voye be dega shkari vrazi. But he picks a manger. Pais achor me mech sur me. He, listen, he that was so high, so great, is suddenly born, not just a human being, but he's born in a trough. Put the scripture up if you want. What's that Corinthians? For you know the generous, generous act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he were rich, Հելուխը գտեսնենք ադիգա քանզի թու գիտեք մեր դեր Հիսուս Քրիստոսի շնորհքը թե ինք ցեզի համար աղքատ եղավ for your sakes he became ան որ հարուստ էր listen i met a i met a number of rich people around the world ես ծանոթացած եմ մի քանի հարուստներու աշխարի դարբեր գոմերը but they all compel in comparison to how rich jesus was բայց իրենց հարուստությունը ոչինչ է one time he was with his disciples. And he said, I desire that you are with me. In, in heaven one day. That you might behold the glory. That, that I had with the Father before the world began. See, we don't realize how rich he was. He was rich beyond our even thought. And to come from that. And not just to be born on earth, but to be born in a manger. But to be born in a feeding trough. To be a, see, we 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 look at him and think, oh, he's so rich. 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 He's so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of aroma there. But it's not incense. There's a lot of smells there. And the God of the universe picked that place to be born there to show forth his humility. Everybody say amen. 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 Second one is this. To be laid in the manger, manger was telling that the most humble can come to him. No matter how low you think you are, you can come into a manger. You, you can walk into a stable. See, on our farm, we had a stable. Well, I took all the animals to feed them. You didn't even have to take a bath to come in there. You didn't have to put on perfume. You didn't even have to wash your hair. You, you didn't even have to have makeup on. And, and people ask me sometimes, do I think it's a sin to wear makeup? I think it's a sin not to wear makeup. I think it's a sin not to wear makeup. If the barn needs painting, that's what my daddy used to tell him. Him so, so, so when you understand that he was born in a, a stable, see the temple was so different. You had three. You had the holy place and the holiest of all in the outer court in the temple. Sirp, 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 sirp
And the presence of God was in that third place, the holiest of all. And to approach God, you had to do all these washings. You had to bring a calf or a lamb and sacrifice it. You had to wash yourself. You had to do all these things to get close to God. And if you had anything wrong with you, you were not permitted to go in. In fact, shepherds were not permitted to go into the temple. A shepherd could never enter the temple. See, we think of shepherds in a nice way. In that day, they did not think of shepherds in a nice way. Shepherds were like gypsies to them. Dishonest people. Shepherds under Judaism law was not allowed to testify in a trial. And then appears these angels to shepherds. Go into Bethlehem. Born to you this day in the city of David. Is Christ the Savior. The Messiah. God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. But how can we approach him? Oh, no, no, good news. He's not born in the temple. He's not born in Jerusalem. He's born in a stable. And these, these shepherds are thinking, what? He's born where? It's not religious. <laughs> There's no guard, standing guard at the door. You can't come in. You're shepherds. You're not permitted. And the Bible says, they said, let's go at once. Can you imagine when they get to Bethlehem? They get near the stable. There's no blockage. There's no stopping them. There's no requirement. The, the most humble can come to a stable. Anybody can walk into a stable. See, the religious people would never like that. Those the religious people don't like that. This is the Son of God. You should see the first time I ever jumped off my pulpit in church. Oh, I've never in my life. And God brings his son in a stable. You know what Matthew says? Matthew, look what Matthew 11 says. Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden. See, see, that's talking about animals. He, these animals would be loaded down with heavy burdens. All of you have seen animals that they just loaded too much on. And, and these animals are, 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 are have these big burdens on their back. And Jesus is looking at all these people that have been on their backs laid all this religious garbage that the religious leaders have put on their backs. And he that was born in a stable where anybody could come looks at all those people that had all these rules and regulations of what it meant to be a Christian or a good Jew in that day. And he says this, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Aren't those rules and regulations making you tired? Aren't you tired of not feeling good enough? Come unto me, and you will find rest for your soul. Why, Jesus? Because I am lowly. 
کنی بور یه سال خونارم سردوکن کوئی <laughs> Queen Elizabeth was standing there at one of the events. And this woman from the corner of the TV, you see this big woman running full speed. She puts her arms around Queen Elizabeth and picks her off the ground. Oh, the secret service and the guards, they all came and took the woman away. Because you know you're not supposed to do that. There's ways to approach the Queen Elizabeth. But when you read the life of the, of the Messiah, the one that was born in a stable, all through his life, there were no guards keeping people away. One time he was so crowded and he said, who touched me? The woman with the issue of blood, remember the story? Do you remember what the disciples said? Who touched you? They're all around you, they're crowding you. What are you about to trample us to death? Because whosoever will may come. There was no blood. Because he was born in a manger. God said, whosoever will can come. It's free to everybody. But you know the main reason, you know the, the main reason that he was born in a manger? It says because there was no room at the end. That's the main reason. Did you know the world is still like it was in that day? There's, not, there's very little room for Jesus. In our, modern, in our modern court system, there's very little room for Jesus. Last year, we had a man by the name of Newt Gingrich, if you've ever heard of Newt Gingrich. We flew him in, I flew him into Louisiana. Yes, And he spoke at one of our events for us. So I, I, I was able to have, I entertained him, I had supper with him. And he had just written a book called Rediscovering God in America. And what he did was he went through the city of Washington. Washington and he found all the places the scripture were written all throughout Washington. And from one great monument to the next great building. And he and I talked, the funniest story of all was we talked about the Supreme Court building. How many has ever been to the Supreme Court Supreme building? Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. Do you know the most hilarious thing about that building? You know, just a few, few years, and over the last few years, the Supreme Court has ruled that this cannot be displayed in public places. Adiana, Boroshum, and Susere were Aspana, Masura, 
կարավարական շենքերու մեջ չի գրնար ցուցվի because it will offend other people քանի որ ուրիշ գրոնկներու հագարակ and then the most funniest of all was եւ ամենա զիզաղելի they rule that the 10 commandments cannot be displayed on a public place նույն ադեն ասեմ որ դասնապանյան նաեւ կարավարական դեղերու մեջ չի գրնար ցուցվի But do you know what is so hilarious about that? Բայց ինչ է ադոր զարմանալի? When you come to the Supreme Court, yep, որ թադարանգ ու կաս բարձրակույն, the big wooden doors that lead into the Supreme Court, ամենա մեծ աթուրերը, the bottom part has the Ten Commandments written on it. Թուրին ամենա վարը դասնապանյան քրեն։ When you walk into the building where the Supreme Court is, եւ շենքը եւ կը Above their heads is the Ten Commandments. Իրենց քրխում վրա բադին վրա դասնապանյան քրված է։ No room for Jesus in in judicial system today. Isu si dev chiga tadagan ashkhar. You know there's very little room for Jesus in businesses today. Business neru mechal. If you run a business. Yete to course you're part of a business. Part mek masnes korzima. Some people say well church is you know that's Sunday but this is the real world this is Monday this is business. Shader gesen giragin yegeretsin giragi orvane pas yep yergu shapti gesi asi iragan ashkhar. You need to bring Jesus into your business. Bet gevor Jesus businessi mech nuinisk metsnek. You need to live your Christian life. Christianiagan yanket bet ke abris. You need to be the best employee your business has. Amena lav korzavore bet ke las If you are the owner of a business, if unis, you ought to treat your people with reverence, who korzavor nerut and respect. Bad vavor gerbov et far visedani. Bring Jesus into the business place. Oh, I'm sorry. No, back again. Bring Jesus into the business. Jesus, I korzim mechal naya bet kematsnes. But you know the real question this morning, ending is this: Do you have room for Jesus in your heart? Who gankid mech Jesusin der unis? What about in your life? Yankit mech. That's Revelation 22 says it this way. San Yegro kelucha haytu tiangese. It says, "Whosoever will may come and take of the waters of life." Yev yanki as churenga chame. Whosoever will. Oh. The bride says, "Come." The spirit says, "Come." O kinga se yegur, yanka gese yegur. Whosoever will, and everyone who is thirsty. Oh, word zarave yegur. Maybe need God in your life this morning. Դերը ադի պատված էր ինքը And this morning he wants to be born a fresh and new in your heart. Եվ այս արդու նոր գերբով յանքի մեջ But pastor I just you know it's not throw all the religiousness away. Ամեն գրոնական բաները մեկ կոմթիր Come unto him all ye that are heavy labor that are heavy laden in the labor. Իրեն եգուր Maybe you're working yourself. Գնալ ալ անչապ սպա գերբով աշխատիս And this morning he's saying come unto Եվ ինք այսօր գսե եգուր ինձի The disciples tried to keep the mamas from bringing their little babies. Աշակետները չանացին մայրերը հերու բա էլի զուսե որը գրենց բզնիկները գփերեին։ He rebuked them. Ինքն ալ հանդիմանեց անոնց։ He said let them come unto. Ցքեք թող դվեք այդ մանր դղոցը որ ինձի կանսա։ See Jesus will let you come to him. Հիսուս կարդոն է որ իրեն։ Anybody that's thirsty this morning. Ով որ ծարավ է այսօր։ He will clean you up. Պիտի մաքրեք ես։ He will tell you like he told the woman caught in adultery. Այդ գնգան որ փրնեցին իբր մեղքերու մեջ։ She asked she asked Lord, he said, "Where are your accusers?" He said, "They've all left." Amen. All the religious people. Amen. Gronaga martiga. All that's left is this woman that just been drugged out of somebody's bed. Me ain gine manats. He said. And Jesus said. He said, "I'm not accusing." Neither do I accuse you. Yes, I'll kez chem tader. I do not condemn you. Kez chem tada barder. Think about what he's saying. Think about what she'd been doing. 
Neither do I condemn you. See, all the religious people here don't like that. Neither do I condemn you. But he didn't leave her there. He said, go and sin no more. But your sin is not going to keep you from me. I was born in a stable in a manger. Yes, so that whosoever will may come. You don't need to know any, any customs. You don't need a fresh suit on. You don't need a new dress on. You don't even need to take a bath before you come. Just as you are, you may come. Would you make 2016 to be the best year of your life? Why don't you come unto him? And then he will give you the strength to leave all the junk of 2015 behind you. If you need him to come, ask him. Say, Lord, I come. I approach you today just as I am. I thank you for being born in a manger, letting me know that I can approach you. But Lord, I know what I've done is wrong. So I ask you to forgive me of all I've done. Change me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Cleanse me, God. Help me not to do it anymore. Let me live for you this year. With all my heart. In Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. amen. Give the Lord a great clap for me.